Hi guys, let us look at finding a factor for cubic polynomials using our calculators. Instead of punching the numbers from negative 10 all the way to 10 manually into our calculators to find out which one is actually a factor, there's an easier method that we can use. Let's dive right into it. So for this, we're going to need our calculators, right? So on our calculators, what we're going to do is we're going to press mode. Then after pressing mode, what we're looking for is table. And on my calculator, table is option seven. Now it will ask you for f of x. What is f of x? f of x is the function that they gave you, that cubic polynomial. So let's insert that. Our function is x to the power of three. So we're gonna go alpha x to the power of three plus 10x squared plus 8x minus 64. Then what we need to do next is press equals to. Then if your calculator prompts you for g of x, you just need to press equals to. Now when it asks you for start, make sure your start is negative five. And then you press the equals to. Then the end will say five. Then you just press equals to. Now it'll ask you for step. Your steps need to be one. Then you just press equals to. Now you're gonna have this very nice looking table on your calculator screen. So what you're looking for are the x values that give you f of x as zero. So we need to scroll down. And the first one that we're seeing is when x is minus four, f of x is zero, which simply means that x plus four is our factor. I hope that made sense, guys. I will see you on the next video.